Okay. Yeah. Hi, welcome to UC Sincera. And I'm Art. Thanks for watching. We have a packed show today. Stay tuned. Beginning in Collegeville, where Eagles fans at Ursinus College are still celebrating the Eagles Super Bowl victory. Now joining us live is Eagles superfan Mike Frazier. Welcome, Mike. Thanks for having me. So, Mike, how do you feel about the Eagles victory? It was awesome. I just can't believe they pulled it off. Did you watch the game in Philadelphia? No, I stayed on campus with my friends. Reimer was pretty packed with people. Go Birds. It's a shame he couldn't get to Philly. What was the celebration at Ursinus like? It was so much fun. Everyone was so happy. Did you at least make it to the parade? No, I didn't. Since Ursinus didn't cancel classes, I couldn't go. What a shame. I'm sure you were upset. Yeah, only if this school would cancel classes for once. Well, at least you got to enjoy the big victory with your friends. Yeah, we threw a party. A party? I'm sure the punch was flowing. Yeah, you could call it that. Haha, <laughs> let's get back on topic. What was your favorite part about the season, Mike? Well, that's a tough question, but outside of the Super Bowl and the playoffs, I really enjoyed the two wins over the Washington Redskins. Whoa, I guess you're not a fan of the Redskins. Nope, they're one of the Birds' rivals. Gross. Yeah, nobody likes them. Easy, Art. Thanks for coming on the show, Mike. Thanks for having me. And go Birds. <laughs> this area is not going to fat win anytime soon. I think Eagles fans might still be celebrating in July. In other news, Sunday was a huge day for Ursinus Gymnastics. Why don't you tell us more, Art? Oh, yes it was, Sarah. The Bears got to compete against some of the area's best teams at the Palestra. How cool. Yes, the Ursinus ladies put up many fantastic performances. The team performed a special. Good for them. They were all very excited about their performance. The Lady Bears returned to action on Saturday when they traveled to Temple. Best of luck to them. It was a huge week for Ursinus basketball as the men and women had playoff games last night. The men hosted Dickinson in a first round playoff game, squeaking out a narrow victory over the Red Devils by a score of 80 to 76. The Bears were led by sharpshooter Eric Williams Jr. and the inside force that is Shane Stark. Each scored 17 points for the Bears. How exciting, Sarah. It's been an exciting season. Yes, it has. The Bears face number one overall seed Swarthmore in a semifinal game on Friday night. It should be a hard fought game. Swarthmore eliminated her sinus last season. Good luck to the Bears. On the ladies' side of things, did not go as well. The Bears lost the back-and-forth game to John Hopkins, 62-56. to 56. How sad. The Bears should hold their heads high as it's their first playoff game in six years. Oh my, the future is bright. Of course, what a great season for both the men and women's teams. And, could it, get even, and it can get even better. Speaking of great seasons, the wrestling team competed at the conference championships this weekend. The Bears turned in three medal-winning performances over the weekend, one silver and two bronze. Congrats to all the medal winners. The Bears placed sixth overall as Stevenson won their fourth, fourth, oh my God, fourth conference title in a row. It's a big weekend for their Sinus College men's and women's track and field teams as they will host the conference championships this weekend. Both the men and the women hope to finish off a solid indoor season on the right foot. Ursinus comes in with some momentum as sophomore Andre Kelly was named Centennial Conference Runner of the Week. Good luck to the Bears. Run fast, jump high, and throw far. It should be a fun weekend for them in Collegeville. Like track and field, the Ursinus, the Ursinus College men's and women's swim teams will compete in the conference championship this weekend. The ladies are looking for their fifth conference championship in a row. After going 11-1 to on the year, they have a great shot at winning it all again. Five in a row? Wow, that's amazing. It sure is. Total domination. That's a special team. On the men's side of things, the Bears are hoping to improve on last season's third place finish. The Bears posted a record 8-3 to three this year and have a great shot to do so. It should be a fun weekend for them. They always perform well at championships. Yes, they do. The meet gets underway on Friday at Franklin and Marshall. The both men's and women's champions will be cr crowded on Sunday afternoon. The end of winter sports is going to be really exciting for Ursinus. Yes, it is, and just as exciting as it is for the beginning of the spring sports. The Ursinus College men's lacrosse team played their first game of the season this weekend. The Bears traveled to Frostburg State to open up the season, losing a tight game 9-8. So close. The Bears return home this weekend when they host Mary Washington on Saturday. Hopefully they can get their first win of the season. The Ursinus women's lacrosse team opened their season at Cabarini last night. The ladies lost 17-15 in a thrilling high-scoring game. Wow, that's a ton of goals. You're telling me. Abby Goldstein scored six goals. A double hat trick? Amazing. The ladies return to action on Saturday at Albright. 
Along with lacrosse, the Ursina College baseball, softball, tennis, and golf teams started official practices earlier this month. How exciting. It should be a great spring. Yes, it should, especially for the baseball team, who looks to improve upon last season's second place finish in the conference. Good luck to them. That wraps up the show for today. What an exciting time to be an Ursina sports fan. Thanks for watching. I'm Sarah. And I'm Art, and you are watching UC Sports at 4. Tune in ne again next week when we recap another exciting week in Ursina sports.